Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 173 of SF Live. My name is Ben Hartley with Stalin Story Creative and Six Figure Photography, and I hope you guys are super jazzed to be here on a Monday. That you're jazzed to not just be listening to this, that you're jazzed to be showing up and building your business. You're jazzed to shut yourself in the living room, lock the door away from your kids and starting to edit some pictures. That you're jazzed to start finding more clients. That you're jazzed to start reworking your packages and your pricing structure. You're jazzed to pick up the phone and call a lead. Uh, I hope you are today on this Monday. I am. I love this stuff. It's so good. You guys, thank you for being here. Uh, look, the entire purpose of SF Live is to help you guys grow your business, to help show up every day and help you grow your business because it is really hard for many of us. We're not, we're not, to be honest, we're not entrepreneurs, we're solopreneurs. We're doing this alone, right? And, uh, and it can be, it can be frustrating. It can defeating, it can be defeating. It can feel like the goals that you have require so many steps that you just don't know where to begin. I want to be this person on the other end, uh, of in this situation, Facebook, <laughs> who's helping you guys out. Look, we are growing our own business. Uh, we have a photography studio here called style and story creative. We're running this thing full time. And so my hope is that I can help you along the way. And so, um, that's why I make these videos. I make them for you guys, and then I also make them for me because I recognize that me committing to show up every day for you guys means I have to commit to show up every day for me. I've gotta to commit to show up every day for my clients. I gotta to commit to showing up every day for my family and for my team. And so it's, it's also, uh, you know, it gets, it makes me better. It makes me better, you guys. Let's see who's here uh, on a Monday. Say hi, you guys. If this is your first time joining, say hi. If it's not your first time joining, say hi. There's a lot of new people. Look, if you're new, if this is the first time you've watched me live, can you let me know? I would love to thank you for being here. I'd love to give you a little shout out. It's been really cool seeing the audience grow. And so even as I say that, thank you guys for sharing this. If I've impacted you in some way, if I've lit a fire your ass in some way. If I've helped you in any way, shape, or form, if you've received an email from me or you've heard a live rant from me and it has, uh, it's given you something, could you do me a favor and share it? If not, if, if you haven't, or I haven't done that for you, then just stick around and I'll just keep dropping, I'll just keep dropping bombs and, uh, and showing up every day until I do, until I do affect you. Right. All right, cool. Emily, you're here. Danielle, Ryan, Ben, Kat, good to see you guys. Angela, good morning to you, dear. James, happy Monday. Albert, hey, Albert. <laughs> Emily's super jazzed. Did I say super jazzed? Oh, I love live content. Uh, Angela is also super jazzed. Uh, James is trying to figure out updated business cards. Bro, this is your updated business card, my man. Come on now, 2017. Ben Adams says, go Buckeyes. Awesome. Eric, hey, first time from Norway watching live. Eric. Thanks for catching us from Norway, man. That's so rad. I love the reach of this. I love the fact that there's that uh, Eric's out there watching from Norway. Thanks for being here, man. I really appreciate you. Danielle, good. Mackenzie, good morning. Julianne, always. Yo, Aaron, what's up? Another Angela. Hey, Jason's here. You guys, thanks for being here. Look, we're going to talk about some cool stuff that we're up to today. For starters, let me let me tell you guys a quick little story. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scrubbing it today. Uh, last night, 2 a.m., uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, my wife, Leslie, uh, is about to deliver twin boys at any day now. 2 a.m. hits and we're like, it's go time. It's happening. We rushed to the hospital. <laughs> it was not go time. It was not happening. Uh, you know, uh, so anyhow, it's been a long night. Uh, we're still at the office. We're still showing up for you guys. Um, but God bless my wife. Uh, send Leslie some hearts, some thumbs up, some love. Uh, you want to talk about putting in the work? Let's talk about carrying twins to like 38 weeks. That's putting in the work, you guys. Anyhow, uh, we got in this morning and, um, and we started getting to work on a couple things. And I want to talk about this with you guys. There's two big takeaways on today's episode that I need you guys to hear. The first thing is this. The first thing that we did when we got into the office together, when I say we, I'm talking about myself, Ben Adams and Stephen Lowe. Those are the three head photographers, us. That's our group. That's the trio. That's the trifecta uh, behind this. You guys see me on camera, but what you don't see is there's two other gentlemen behind the scenes that are kicking ass and taking names. And so we got into the office today and we dedicated two hours hours today on, on training. We dedicated two hours today on getting better. We dedicated two hours today on getting better at sales, on getting better at service, on getting better at experience, on getting better uh, at, at communication. You guys, I, I bring this up because I think this is not just a photography thing. This is like a business thing. For most businesses, you know, you spend 
one day out of the year, you go and you go on like a workshop that's maybe two days, you go to a conference or a seminar, it's like three days and you do this once a year, maybe, to develop uh, your sales system. You learn a technique to sell wedding albums one time for a year and, and you're good. And then you go and we just keep our head down and we work, we work and we shoot, 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 shoot and we edit, edit, edit. And, and we're, we're taking just one day or one weekend or one chunk out of the year uh, to learn and to focus on getting better at sales and to focus getting better at client experience and to focus on getting better at communication. You guys, we need to be doing this way more often. We need to be investing time and energy in ourselves to learn and to get better at our craft, like to learn about how to convert, to learn like, look, if you can do, if you can do like 10 things that will simply convert, if you can change an email subject or, or the way that you ask a question and just flip the words around to, to change a conversion 2%, you do that 10 times. It's like, uh, look, I'm terrible at math, but like 20%, right? I think that's correct. Right. Um, that makes a difference. That makes a huge difference. And so I bring this up because I, I just want to encourage you guys to keep to keep moving forward, to keep looking for opportunities to change, to keep getting better at sales, to keep getting better at service, to keep reevaluating things, right? Keep turning it over every single day. One day, one seminar, one weekend. It's not enough. It's not enough. You need to get better. Anyhow, one of the things that we've been getting better, one of the ways we've been getting better, and I want you guys to take note of this, is outside of this industry. The majority of what we learn, the majority of the things that we implement at Style and Story Creative and at SF, uh, it's learned outside of this industry, right? One of the things that I'm super excited to say is that I love the fact that a lot of the listeners who tend to tune into the Six Figure Photography Podcast or who watch live with me uh, every day, they're not photographers, right? There's a lot of people who watch this stuff that aren't photographers, and I love that fact, right? A lot of the content that I'm taking in, it's not from photographers, it's from marketers, it's from people who are businessmen first, right? Um, they're advocates for their clients first. And so there's been one I wanna tell you guys about, his name's Jay Abraham. Uh, Jay Abraham is one of the best marketers in the world, uh, and I, I've been investing time uh, into learning from Jay, and so I want you guys to hear that name, I want you to Google it, I want you to look it up. There's stuff to be learned from this man. One of the things that, um, we've been finessing and working on. And one of the things that I get asked a lot is in regards to phone calls. You guys hear this. Look, I'm a, I'm a big believer in serving leads before they give you money. You don't wait for someone to give you money before you start giving a damn. You serve a lead. You start giving a damn about the lead because they're a person, because there's an opportunity to serve them as a person, right? It's a self-fulfilling pro prophecy. You start treating leads like clients. Guess who becomes clients? You start treating $2,000 clients like $10,000 clients. Guess who becomes a $10,000 wedding photographer, right? And so we've been talking a lot about um, uh, communication and leads. I talk a lot about picking up the damn phone and calling people. When you get that inquiry in your inbox that you spend time and you actually call them, you don't just shoot out a blanket email that bullet points your shit, right? You call and you call not to bullet point your shit over the phone. You call to listen. You call to understand, you call to care, you call to empathize, you call to be fascinated with the other person on the end of the line. And so I talk a lot about this and I think a big hangup here, and we're, this is where we're going with this, a big hangup is what do you say? When you get into a live, a, a in-person pre-consultation meeting with a client face-to-face, -face, when you pick up the phone and someone answers it on the other end, what do you say? What's the script? Right. And this is, you see this all the time. You see people pushing out, you know, scripts. I look, the best I can do is give you an outline because here's the thing. Even today we were working on this and Ben, uh, not from a place of negativity, but from a good place was like, we need to start thinking about questions. We need to start thinking about things that we can be asking and probing our clients with. Right. And I was like, nah, man, nah, man, you just got to give a shit. You gotta be curious. You gotta be genuine. You gotta, you gotta learn to be fascinated with the other person on the end of the line. That's the script. The script is have a heart. The script is be curious. The script is be genuine. The, the script is be fascinating, right? Fascinated. You guys, one of the things that I do here is uh, we have the Six Figure Photography Podcast, the SFP Podcast, right? When I first started this thing, I used to script out every single question that I was gonna ask the guests. On the podcast, so I interview other industry experts. I bring them on and I used to write out every single question. 
and it would be stale. And sometimes I wouldn't know where to go. And sometimes they would start talking about their family and I'd be like, so how did you convert on album sales, you know, over the last two years? And it just didn't feel like the pieces were fitting. You guys, it's one of the things that I've gotten so much better at over the last two years of doing the SFP podcast is interviewing, of genuinely listening, of connecting, of being fascinated with the other person because they're a person. Rather than thinking ahead of the next question, I just listen to them and I really wanna know, I'm curious. Tell me more about that. What does that mean to you? Like these are things that you can be doing that you should be doing uh, with, your, with your clients, with your leads. And so you guys, I talk a lot about putting in the work and I talk a lot about practice, but this is the, this is the application. The only way you get better at this is you practice. It's the same thing with anything. The only way you, like, everyone's scared to do live content. Everyone's scared to put themselves out there, and yet y'all want to be famous, right? Y'all want to be out there. The only way that you're going to get better at it is you do it. The only way you're going to get better at live content is you press the red button and you start staring at that screen, and you open your mouth and you start talking, right? It's the only way you get better at it. That's That's another reason why I make these videos, to get better. I'm practicing. It's the same thing with this. Start practicing asking genuine questions, start practicing listening. Look, and this is all like common sense stuff. A majority of this stuff is, right? Uh, value your clients, offer value uh, that's greater than the cost of your service. Put people first. These are all things that we tell ourselves. Be passionate about what you do, serve people. The customer is always most important. The client's always most important. And we say this stuff, but what does that actually look like? What does it actually mean? We need to start breaking this stuff down and understanding that it means listening. It means shutting up. Uh, it means being actually interested at the other uh, of the person. It means being genuine, right? It means being uh, stepping outside of yourself and being fascinated with the other person on the other line. Even if you can't relate, even if, look, I don't know two cents about basketball, but if I get a client who loves basketball, I'm gonna to try to empathize, understand what it is that makes them tick about it and ask genuine questions about basketball. Even though I can't personally relate, I can understand, right? I can ask questions, I can probe, I can be interested, I can be genuine about that subject. And so start practicing this. This is why I don't recommend that you put your pricing on your website because y'all need practice. You need practice. You need to be picking up the phone and calling every single lead that has any interest in you because you need to practice with your leads. You need to practice your unique selling proposition. You need to practice expressing value. You need to practice giving a shit about people, right? We all need practice. I practice what I preach, by the way. This is why we do this. This is why we call every single lead because we are always getting better and we're always practicing. This doesn't stop with business. This doesn't stop with leads. Look, Ben Adams was telling me a story about how he is introducing this into his life. He's at Lowe's this weekend and he sees a guy who's sitting on a bench and he sits down and starts talking. And, and the talking isn't about him. The talking is about this employee at Lowe's and he's asking questions. He's genuinely curious. Start doing this. You guys, you don't have to do it to strangers. Let's start giving a shit about our brothers and our sisters and our friends and start stop talking about your photography. Stop talking about the latest thing that you just did and start asking them about them, right? Look, if you don't wanna have the balls to go and do a stranger, that's fine. Go talk to your mom, go talk to your dad, go talk to your brother, go talk to your sister, go talk to your friend, go talk to, go talk to your best friend, go talk to the friend who's the third one down on the rung. You know that one, you haven't talked to him in a month, <laughs> uh, right? You guys talk to each other, talk to the photography community and start being genuine, start being curious, start being fascinated with them. That's the takeaway today, you guys. I appreciate you guys so damn much. Thank you for being here. Again, if this has been valuable, please share it. Please get this stuff out there. Go check out Jay Abraham. He's doing incredible things. I'm gonna keep learning from him. I'm gonna keep learning from people that are smarter than me and that are better than me. I'm gonna keep surrounding myself with that same group. You guys, uh, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. If I don't have, look, hey, one last thing. There might be some baby boys dropping into my world here real quick. And so I've got an idea I wanna pitch to you guys. When the boys come, SF Live is gonna take a two week vacation but I'm not gonna take a two week vacation from you guys. Pay, please pay attention. The family comes first, my wife comes first, my boys come first, my daughter B comes first. And so to come into the office and to dedicate a full hour or half hour, whatever it is uh, to SF Live, it's not gonna happen. Give me some grace for two weeks, it's not gonna happen. But I'm still gonna show up for you guys because I've made a commitment. But the way that I'm gonna show up is on Instagram. 
I'm going to show up on Instagram Live. They're going to be shorter segments. They're going to be, look, I'm going to talk about the things that I'm still learning, the things that these boys are teaching me, the things that life is teaching me on Instagram. Instagram Live and Stories. It's where it's going to take place. And it's going to come from my home. It's going to be super sloppy. It's going to be great. You're going to love it, right? Stories and live content on Instagram. I don't have a massive following there, but you start at zero, don't you? You all start at zero. And so follow me, six figure photo, all one word, S-I-X, figure, F-I-G-U-R-E, photo, six figure photo. Follow me there when the boys come. That's how you can keep getting yours. All right, you guys, I appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow.